Alright, so here we have another second order homogeneous ODE, and so we don't have to worry about any uh, particular solutions for the, uh, the function of t that might appear on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and set up the good old characteristic equation using the coefficients from each of these. So we're going to have lambda squared plus 4 lambda plus 5 equals 0. Now we get the roots of this equation with the, uh, the trusty quadratic formula since there's not really uh, a good factoring for this. So we're going to get lambda equals negative 4 plus or minus square root 16 minus 20 over 2. And since 16 minus 20 is negative, this is going to give us complex roots. And those roots are going to be 2, oops, sorry, negative 2 plus or minus i. And that, of course, comes from the fact that, uh, you know, 16 minus 20 is uh, negative 4. And then you can, yeah, you can work it out from there. It's easy enough. All right, so now we remember for this uh, this complex roots situation, our uh, our general form of solution is going to look like c1 e to the a t cosine of b t plus c2 e to the a t sine b t, and the a and the b are going to come from some complex number of the form a plus or minus bi. So now we can take a is negative 2, b is 1, plug those in, and get a solution that looks like c1 e to the negative 2t uh, cosine t plus So now this is an initial pr uh, value problem, so we're going to have to take a first derivative so that we can actually plug in these initial conditions here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to be y prime of t. Now this is, of course, just a real fun product rule, chain rule thing, so I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little more space, actually. So we're going to have y prime of t equals negative 2 c1 e to the negative 2t t plus c1 um, that was oh I'm sorry it, yeah that's going to be a minus c1 e to the negative 2t times sine of t plus c2, ah, not plus, minus c2 e to the negative 2t sine of t c2 e to the negative 2t cosine of t. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Let me just check real quick. All right, cool, yeah, we're good. So this is a, you know, a nice, ugly looking equation. And now we get the privilege of plugging in initial conditions to it. So let's go ahead and uh, prolong the inevitable a little bit more, plug in these initial conditions for just y of t, so we're going to get 1 equals, uh, now the e's are just going to turn into 1, of course, and cosine of 0 is 1, so we're just going to get c1, and sine of 0 is just 0, so that's it. That's pretty convenient. So now let's, uh, let's
let's plug in the initial condition for y prime. So we're going to get 0 equals, now again, the exponentials are just going to turn into 1 because they're going to be raised to a power of 0. So we're just going to have negative 2 since cosine of 0 is 1. This is what will cancel out. This one will also cancel out. And we'll just have this. So plus C2. And then C2 equals 2. All right, that's uh, that's nice and easy. Oop, I forgot to write the C1. Sorry, but it uh, it plugs in that way and ends up being the same thing. So uh, that worked out nicely. So now our uh, our final solution is going to be y of t equals negative two t cosine of t plus um, two even negative two t times uh, sine t. And that is it.